a 71 year old man presents to the clinic with complaint of right wrist pain for two days on examination redness on examination redness and swelling were noted on the dorsum aspect of his right wrist he had pain with extreme range of motion of wrist his history include two hip replacement two previous episodes of gout in most in the first metatarsal of phalangeal joints and hypertension two days earlier swelling had increased with dorsal aspect so dorsal aspect of his uh, right wrist and hand wrist flexion is limited to 80 percent with severe pain pain was present on palpitation of scaphoid bone due to suspicion of fracture patient was referred to his general practitioner for radiograph this finding is consistent with gouty arthritis which of the following is most likely which of the is most likely cytokine involved in this process so they are basically asking about cytokine in this process it's option a let's go through and uh, see what are the highlights uh, what are the key points in this question so cytokine il1 is the correct answer interleukin 1 let's say a 71 year old man he had complaint of his right wrist pain for past two days okay examination there is a swelling and redness means there is a, some kind of inflammation going on on the dorsum of his head he has a pain includes two hip uh, replacement two episodes of gout and hypertension two days later swelling has been increased wrist flexion and uh, there is a pain on palpitation due to suspicion of fracture patient was referred to the general so basically they are trying to ask you is they are trying to test you if you have a general knowledge of uh immuno uh, cytokines which are given here let's see il1 is mostly responsible for acute inflammation or uh, also uh, in fever patient like uh, they increases the uh, pyretic effects il10 which is immunomodulator which decreases the functionality of b cells which suppresses the t cells interferon gamma which is mostly seen in uh, b cells maturation in interleukin 4 and interleukin 5 which is mostly seen in b cell uh, the b cell uh, class switching uh, il4 class switches to ige and il5 class switches to iga so let's uh, go through this in the deep so il1 interleukin 1 sources and effects are mostly the source of this interleukin is macrophages which is released by macrophages it increases the neutrophil and macrophages migration and this is this increase is seen in acute inflammation so it is a marker for acute phase reaction and mostly seen in fever and show shock il10 is immunomodulator as we see it decreases the th1 cell differentiation it decreases the t cell immunity and antigen presenting cells activity and increases the b cell function while interferon gamma effects are increases the intracellular killing of macrophages increases the mhc class 1 and 2 expression and th1 differentiation il4 effect interleukin 4 effects are th2 cell differentiation b cell growth and isotype switching to ige ige is mostly seen in anaphylactic shock il5 usually 
uh, causes differentiation of eosinophils and isotype switching to IgA. So here, this question is asking us about uh, what kind of cytokine is seen in acute inflammation. So the answer is interleukin one. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.